Glenn Greenwald is a co-founder of The Intercept. He reported on the contents of the national security documents leaked by Edward Snowden. And Glenn has defended using leaked documents in the case of journalism. Glenn, good to see you, sir. Um, you, you join me now. Th this question of now uh, Julian Assange is in custody, the US has put forward this very specific charge, um, which is not so much a First Amendment type of thing, but basically saying he, he conspired to illegally access, to hack, basically. I don't actually agree with that characterization. There are parts of the indictment that are clearly designed to criminalize things journalists routinely do. Part of the accusation is that he encouraged Chelsea Manning to provide him with more documents than the original batch that she gave him, which is something as a journalist I've done many times with my sources that journalists do every day. They say, oh, thanks for this document. Maybe you could get me this. They also say that he helped her to essentially cover her tracks by giving her advice about how to get this information right. without being detected. Um, the only thing in the, in the indictment, and it's very vague, is a suggestion that he tried to help her circumvent a password. It didn't seem to be successful, but it's unclear whether that was designed to get documents or to simply help her cover her tracks. But either way, it's clearly a threat to the First Amendment because it criminalizes core journalistic functions. The, the way in which, of course, uh, it's going to break down into two groups. Those who see him as being some sort of uh, Russian accomplice who is determined to do political damage, and those like yourselves, uh, yourself who see him as a journalist who is promoting the good of information. But ultimately, it will come down to uh, an English judge who will have to decide, and then the Home Secretary, whether or not to send him to the U.S., won't it? Right. Well, first of all, not, I don't necessarily agree that it depends on whether you like Julian Assange or not or think he's a hero. I would hope that all journalists all over the world would be opposed to anything that threatens press freedom, even if the person they're targeting is someone that they dislike or think has done bad things. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the U.K. is one of the very few Western countries that doesn't have a constitutional right of press freedom. Um, I knew from the reporting I did on the Snowden case when I worked at The Guardian, they actually sent agents of the state into the newsroom of The Guardian and forced The Guardian to destroy its laptops. Um, so yeah, I don't. I, I wouldn't expect British judges or British the British government to provide much protection to Assange, given that there's not a really strong culture of press freedom protection in the UK. But, so at the end of the day, what would you say to those people who do claim that, look, his, his activities did far more damage than good, uh, that he did, he, with all the leaks that came out, particularly, of course, the, the, uh, the diplomatic cables, there were, it was scandalous, yes, but there was limited journalistic benefit. Well, if you just look at how the media outlets around the world have used that archive, it's probably the single most valuable journalistic archive published in the last 50 years since the Pentagon Papers to this very day. The New York Times, The Washington Post, CNN uses documents published as part of that archive, including the diplomatic cables, to shed light for their audience and their readers on what the most powerful factions in the world are doing. And there's Good. never been identified by the U.S. government anyone who's been harmed by those publications. But a lot of media outlets have used them to do some really great reporting. So I think the proof is in the pudding on that question. Glenn, finally, what, where is the limit? At what point do you say, actually, these documents don't disclose anything? Uh, 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 they just reflect policy thinking, we don't need to publish them just because we've managed to download a lot of government documents. Yeah, I think it's reasonable for journalists to say that we should only publish documents in the public interest and withhold things that might jeopardize the safety of people or their privacy. But on the other hand, since 9-11, Western governments have built this incredible wall of secrecy behind which they operate. Most of what they do is not transparent to the public. And I think that's a very grave threat right. to democracy. And I would hope journalists would be the very last people 
saying we need less transparency. People who expose light on secrecy are doing the wrong thing. It's the role of journalists to advocate for transparency and to cheer those who bring it, not to lead the way denouncing and condemning those who do. Glenn, Glenn we all joining us uh, from Rio. Glenn, thank you.